what's up guys in this video I just want to show you uh, an overview of this uh, rig for the Black Hawk we did and uh, just gonna go through the controls and show you what each control does so first let's go to this control here at the bottom and we have both those two controls are similar this one and this one and, and those basically you can see here is the move all control you can control the scale of the chopper and then the same thing apply for this one as well so this one will give you like extra control if you want to have one of these controls constrained to a curve and the other one you want to use it for uh, for the offset rotation or translation you can do that and then the next thing I can show you guys is basically this control here at the top and this one is responsible for moving the upper body uh, while maintaining the wheels uh, connected on the ground so if you push it up and down you can see how the wheel is reacting uh, more accurate and also if you rotate it as well like this way you can see the chopper body moving while the wheel is maintained and you can do also like side to side uh, and then you can of course push it down up so if you're gonna animate it lifting off you can start first with this one just to give the illusion of the body moving while the wheels on the ground and then you can take the animation with this as well okay so this basically control does that so this control basically controls the main blades of the chopper so you can use here the Y. We hid all the unnecessary controls to so make things clear. So you can use this Y. And then you can see here there's X and uh, Z. And those basically you can control how you can push these blades. And then when you do the Y, it will maintain the same orientation. And you're not going to have any wobble or anything. And the same thing goes if the blades you want them to move to the side as well. And then next there's these arrows here and those you can control each blade individually basically you can raise it up and down you know you can lower it down like this for all of them to get more like weight into the blade and then you can also move it to the side like this way okay and the, the same with the arrows applies the same thing and then let's go back here to the tail and then this you can control here the rotation of the back blade and also you can move it around if there is something happen and this falls down and so we left the rest of the controls on it so you can really control how it moves but mainly you want to use the rotation x to rotate it and this control is gonna control this back stabilizer if that's what it's called and uh, it's pretty straightforward and also the same thing you can remove it if there is something you want to animate it that falls or break so you can do that and then let's go to the body and this control here you can control the door sliding so you can open the door and you can see what's inside it and this door also you can rotate it to open and then we get here these are the wipers controls so if you select them the wind wiper and then you animate this it's gonna be doing this action here the same thing apply for this door it does the same thing you can open it close it and then you can move it if you want it to break the same thing goes for this door as well you can slide it open you can take it away you can have like a full control over it okay so this is like the main body and there is this uh, the side uh, rocket holders here you can control when you select this control you can control the orientation here if you need it same apply for this side as well and then you can see here for all the rockets here you can control have individual controls you can move them and then you can see here follow body so this control allow the rocket to keep following the body for example if I rotate this way now the rockets are following the body now if I turn this off and then I rotate now this rocket doesn't follow the body anymore now this control here is animatable so for example you can animate from 0 to 1 and uh, it will transition uh, smoothly between the body to the location where it's, uh, where it's gonna be unconstrained so for example you can see here this control here this box is called uh, 
missiles world constraint location so this one it's gonna be always these um, rockets when you disable them so they're not following the body anymore they will be like mainly constrained to this one okay so just keep in mind when you want to detach this it's gonna become following uh, this uh, for example but as soon as you don't animate this um, cube here you can contr completely control over uh, rocket and you can animate it the way you want without any issues but this will allow between easy transition between going to the body so now if you see if I transition to the body first let's put this back to zero and then if I move the plane like away so you can see here if I go to this and then I transition so it's easily transition between the location where the body and then the location where it's become like a disconnected which is uh, the world and then if you for example you moved this chopper like when you move it you can keep this guy following for example you make it follow here so this way it will always but we dis we disconnected from following the chopper because this way when you, when you move the chopper this rocket is not gonna follow but if for example if this one following this uh, control then the rocket will always follow so, so it will become basically no point of having this control so we have this control just in case if you wanna for example disconnect it from the body so this way you can smoothly disconnect it from the body and then wherever you put this uh, control the rocket will always go naturally too so if you have it here it will go naturally to that when you detach and this control as I mentioned is just basically to have the simulation of the world so the rocket will not follow this control anymore so this is something to keep in mind and it's gonna be really helpful when you're animating uh, these uh, rockets launching so they're not following the body anymore okay so another thing let me just zero out these controls so last thing we're gonna talk about is uh, the wheels so these wheels have the main wheel control here that you can control the rotation of the wheel and also you can control the position of the wheel and then there is this uh, uh, tire kind of control that allow you to, to adjust the pressure on the tire so if you want like a little bit of uh, cushioning here you can do that so you can control this you can go extreme and the same apply for this side of the wheels goes the rotation the movement move in different direction as well and then the tire uh, control here for the pressure and the same thing applies for the back wheel we rotate the back wheel we move it and you can see all the pistons is behaving uh, accurately and then the same here apply to this back wheel as well for the tire so that's basically how uh, you can control this chopper and move it around it's uh, pretty straightforward controls we don't wanna uh, we didn't wanna complicate everything we made all the controls uh, obvious and we named them correctly so you can easily control them and uh, recognize them Hopefully this overview will help you guys. If you have any questions or anything, please email us and we will get back to you and clarify if you have any questions or requests. Feel free to check our website, readymosworld.com and see you in the next video. Thanks.